I just wanted to share that with you guys because I wasn't expecting it. I mean, like, I wasn't, um, I'm really, I'm at a loss for words. And my book means a lot to me. It's not a large book. It's not a long read, but it, the words um, are very impactful. And I will be sharing something about the book in terms of the size and the number um, of chapters and things on there because that also had a meaning. Uh, wasn't on purpose, but actually I'm just going to tell you now since y'all are on here and I don't make myself stop crying. So my book, again, it is a short story and everything in the book is 155% truthful. It is the walk and the things that I experienced. Uh, many people know my son passed and they know about the Richard Shower Center and, you know, the hospital uh, mistake in terms of his autopsy not being performed. But there is so much more that I went through and I didn't share with people and... It was hard. I mean, I mean, beyond hard. Hard is 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 honestly making. Um, hard is just not the, the the proper word for it. But so the book took years. And if if anyone has ever written a book, you know that you kind of start and you stop. Well, because of this situation and the fact that it's about my my son, who I lost, and his. He was a 12th grade student, so it was very hard. So I pick it up and I stop and I pick it up and stop. But in order to do that, you also have to kind of start back over and reading it. Well, reading it make, makes you relive those tragedies, those moments and feelings. But when I just said, okay, I'm done, I'm stopping, this is it, I'm going to send it to the publisher and, and that's it. I looked down and the book has... 11,017 words in it. Did you hear me? So I took that as a sign to stop the book right there. And the reason is because I lost my son on November the 17th. So that's the little story behind the book and the size of the book. But the content is definitely... Um, worth three. I haven't read it again. <laughs> so I'm going to let him. I'm um, sorry. What is your opinion?